All right, so at the time of this video, we're only up to chapter 20 in the manga, but as far as the actual tournament goes, Musashi and Kotaro are the only two fighters who we've not only seen advance into the next round, but are also scheduled to fight each other when we get into the next stage of Tenkaichi. So what I wanted to do here is make a prediction for who we could end up seeing winning this fight, Musashi or Kotaro, and I'll probably end up making another video like this for Yagyu versus the winner of Kamizumi versus Hino, but again, since we're only only up to chapter 20 in the manga, I figured we may as well speculate and throw some ideas around on what we could expect from Musashi versus Kotaro. And to be honest, I'm pretty positive on who wins here, but before I get into the who and why, I think it's very important that I build the case here for Kotaro first because when you compare Musashi versus Honda to Kotaro versus Toda, you can notice a very clear difference between the two fights, and I think it mainly comes down to their opponents, Honda and Toda, because the majority of Kotaro versus Toda is just Kotaro looking for her moments to engage by either closing the distance or staying at range and Toda was mostly just waiting for her to initiate the first attack and look for a way to counter. And Musashi versus Honda was nothing like that. They were both making the first move after every exchange and never tried to relax as soon as things got serious. And by default I would say this would have to mean that Honda just straight up had the more impressive performance compared to Toda and having now said that I would actually be really curious to see how a fight between between Honda versus Kotaro would go because it's not like Honda would be giving her as much time to strategize and recover herself as often as Toda did, right? And I am in no way trying to say that Toda is some bottom tier fighter or anything like that. I would even say that he'd probably give Musashi just as much of a competitive fight as Honda did, regardless of whether or not you think he would lose that fight or not. So sure, even though we can definitely talk about it and I can just make a video combing through the fine details on who would win, it's still hard to imagine what a fight would be like between Honda versus Kotaro for the simple fact that we just don't know how Kotaro fights when she's not the aggressor because we know base form Kotaro has a ridiculous amount of strength like her tiger's bullet was enough to snap a tree using the Puma shuriken and she was also able to just break five or six of Toda's ribs with a kick after she catches him off guard in chapter 9 and she actually does this after having popped his eardrums by just clapping her hands with enough force so Kotaro in her base form could definitely give Musashi a hard time if he's careless. But because this fight is absolutely for sure going to happen unless the tournament decides to switch opponents or something like that then I would just have to believe that Musashi is gonna take her seriously so I really doubt he's gonna fight her with a wooden sword. He would most likely use his Niten Ichiryu sword style where he fights using two swords. But I don't think her strength would be too overwhelming for Musashi to the point that it's costing him the fight here. Because there were several moments where Honda just used his raw strength to intentionally try to finish him off and a good example of this is in chapter 3 where he catches Musashi off guard and sends him flying backwards with these 5 body shots but Honda then mentions that he jumped back at the last moment so the damage could have and should have been a lot worse had Musashi not reacted in time and we know Honda's raw strength is just ridiculous he was able to stop and throw a full grown bull in chapter 1 and this is when he was out of shape so I don't think Musashi would have to worry about Kotaro's strength. I think he'd be able to tank a lot of her punches and kicks if they connect, but we also have to remember that after she injects herself with the poison, the Miyabi Orochi number 6, all of her stats just get a buff, right? So not only her strength, but her speed increases as well, and we see this best in chapter 11 after she's taken the injection, and she runs up on Tota here, and although he's able to avoid the full impact of the punch on where she intended to actually land it, she ends up just taking his ear off entirely but we truly see how fast she can get when she follows this up with a kick and you can notice his ear is in mid air still it hasn't even started to fall yet so I can see Musashi having trouble with their strength and speed in combination after she's taken the injection but we can't forget that Musashi has some pretty decent speed as well right and maybe it's not as comparable to hers but I think it's how he's able to combine it with his intellect and instincts mid fight that would make the difference because like we saw at the the end of his fight with Honda when he's going for the last attack. He instinctually changes his target from striking at Honda to cutting his spear and even if he had the idea in mind to do this, I just can't see him actually gathering the idea and ability to execute it without the speed to back it up so you can see how his speed and instincts align perfectly to win him the fight but it's also his fight IQ that brings it all together because not even Honda had predicted that he was gonna switch his target from attacking him to cutting his spear in 
instead. Because Honda could have blocked it with his left arm and lost it, but by doing this, he would have finished the fight by striking Musashi in the heart and ending it there with only his right arm left. But because he chose not to sacrifice his left arm, this meant he believed that Musashi was not only going to take the opportunity to kill Honda, but this meant that Honda was convinced that there wasn't anything Musashi could do to stop his own attack. So again, Honda just didn't anticipate Musashi would change his target of attack, and this is why he didn't sacrifice his left arm. He knew if he lost his left arm, there was no chance for him to win the tournament, so he was betting on Musashi killing him with his attack, but also killing Musashi with the spear, meaning they would both die. So Musashi is just so well-rounded, and it's not like I think he would low dip Kotaro. It would have to be an extremely competitive fight on both sides, but I just think his fight IQ in combination with his instincts evolving mid-fight would give him a lot more opportunity than Kotaro would have. And if you wanted to make the argument for Kotaro winning, then I think you honestly could, but you would have to imagine and consider how she fights on the defensive once Musashi finds his momentum, and how that would affect her stamina after she takes her injection and loses a lot of blood, because in my opinion, there's just no way around it. I think the fact that he fights with two swords would definitely throw her off. And if she can't properly stop his swords from cutting her, then I think the high pace of the fight and loss of blood would just have to work against her. But I think this is where I'm gonna end the video with, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video, and please make sure to subscribe for more Tenkaichi. I cover the manga here on the channel, so make sure to stick around for more if you're interested. But before I end the video, I just want to give a very special thanks to the channel's patrons, Iron, Justin, Nix, EXP, Paranormal Beluga, Jedi Knight 104, Ped Yuko, and Malekith. Thank you so much for the support, guys, and for anyone else who's interested, you can sign up too and get into the monthly Q&A I do here on the channel. I'll be posting the next one up sometime at the start of November, so from now until the end of October, feel free to consider joining. You would also be helping me out a lot here in a massive way and get a special shout out like this in every single video. The link will be in the description below, or you could just search it yourself at patreon.com slash izanami. But other than that guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, feel free to comment down below what your thoughts are, anything you agreed or disagreed with, and yeah, like always, have a great day.